Dick. Yeah? Can't go wrong with that. Alright. We're off Let's see. to this casting with a wonderful... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just a heads up. I'm going to be throwing this ever so slightly because I'm going to eat doing this. All right. Uh oh, assassins, captain. Okay. Haven't actually checked out the teams. Uh, not sure who's the teams looks surprisingly balanced to Pretty be honest, evil. comparatively to what they can be. Mm -hmm. Not actually sure who I'd give an advantage to. It's going to be interesting to see now how the drafting goes. Wow, I went from seven viewers all of a sudden down to two. <laughs> I'm sorry for the fucking intro. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be interesting. How Everyone's it like, mm, we're done here. <laughs> I've seen enough. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there it is. The first gold. Is that? No, that's the second gold band of the evening, isn't it? Actually, I can't remember. Second or third, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Every yeah. overgrowth, overgrowth match. match. Actually, no. One overgrowth match. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the second. Rock, so you smell like yeah, no, shit. Yeah, uh, no. really didn't like him. <laughs> Yeah. Are they debating? I was about to say, if they pick Isaac over Wrath, I'm not sure what to do. Wrath is just too good. Yeah. And like, there are too, uh, too many characters that are. Like, I love Isaac, but there are too many characters that can sort of similarly fill his role. The, but Wrath doesn't have that sort of correlation. That anyone can do what he does as well. But with Isaac, it's like you can do Toby for damage or Whiskey for damage and wound and all that, so. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah, team one banned Galton Kelvin. Kelvin. Ooh. A lot of people don't like dealing with those two characters. Not at all. But this is the first time we've seen Montana get through bounce now, I just realized. Mm hmm. So this should. Like, it looks like a more conventional draft. I suppose from what it used to look like a few months back when people <laughs> didn't <laughs> when they went with the standard bands that we see on the table now and then um, like Montana being picked again mm -hmm. <coughs> The Shane pick kind of surprises me though, but I suppose I can understand why they wouldn't want to have uh, a pull into Wrath Yeah, yeah. Pull into Wrath is what true pain feels like Yeah if you're on the receiving end, that is. If you're the one pulling or a wrath, then it's actually quite lovely. I wonder if they will grab the Caldi. Deal with the Miko. Yeah. Wouldn't be too bad. Like it's a the blind that it provides is a really nice, um, like disorienting tool. I feel like people underestimate though what it can actually do for dives or counter dives. And yeah, Tom, that that is true. But a commonly used strat is just go for target bans. What do you say? And then uh, team two can just pick two out of the three really good characters. Yeah. And so you can get cornered into the draft like that. He said, uh, team one banning Galton Kelvin, and then he said, yeah. But if you're team one, you make team two ban one slash both of them, so you can take one first overall. Okay. Like yeah, you you can do that, but yeah. Once you get fucked, when team two just goes for target ban, then you're just screwed. You learn very quickly that drafting can get very hairy really quickly. Oh yeah. And like you realize that early on as well, isn't it? It's like you see the first three picks, not in the team, but like in the match, like the team one gets the first pick and then team two gets the f two first two picks. And then based on that, you can mm -hmm. typically see it's like, this is going to go downhill quite quickly. <laughs> yeah, the first three picks really show yeah. how the match is going to 
where the ref's gonna go. Exactly. Hmm. Boulder, okay. Boulder. I'm down for some boulder gameplay. I think no. this match heavily hinges on, uh... Okay. The D&D &D play. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be interesting to see that the Team 2 looks quite unconventional. Like, the characters themselves aren't so weird, but we don't often see, like, those combos go together. So it's going to be interesting to see how they, um, like, actually coordinate with each other now. <coughs> Not gonna lie though, I was hoping for a Toby pick as the last one, get to see some Rambo action on there, but... Now that'll, that'll mess up his, uh, what, 15 KD? <laughs> Not even know what it is. Yeah, Isaac and Wrath are super meta over here. I don't get it why Xbox neglects Wrath and Isaac so much. Wrath, I don't understand, but um, I was talking to Arachnus about it, how he was playing on PS4 now when, like, Isaac is a lot more meta than over than Xbox. Like, how that is an, as an Xbox player, Kevin, I'm very experiencing it. And he said that it, he's becoming more prevalent now in turns. It's just like they don't have many Isaac players to begin with so that can actually make him work on a competitive level. But um, mm -hmm. also the people that can actually can make him work in those circumstances, those fare better with other characters. Um, so he yeah. took an example with one of his teammates. I, he didn't reference him by name, so I'm not sure who, who he's talking about. But um, he's their best Isaac player, but he also happens to be their best Galt and support player. So they take um, precedence over um, Isaac. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, like Isaac brings <coughs> wound, stun, ankiness, range DPS, arguably Sandra best killing Sandra power kill in the game. Yep. And then Wrath brings the fucking. Oh, Tom is the uh, teammate that he's referencing. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> the one player. <laughs> oh, man. I think That's pretty fitting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can they get the pick here on Ralph? Wow. Oh, he is uh, in a bad spot there. That was a good start right. by Montana to get so him in the corner there. <laughs> that that was a bad time. <laughs> so that just happened. <laughs> Talk about how good Raph is when Cheesy does that. <laughs> oh no. It's going to be interesting though for Team 2 now to see how reliant they're going to be on the pulse to actually get things done because I think... I don't know, I find that to be sort of one of the main um, points of interest when it comes to matches like this, just to see how the teams play, like how much are they are they just going to play now as if Galt is on the team? So they're not going to push at all until they get a pick or two through the hook? Or um, are they actually going to try and dive with her? Because Shane can do either one and it's going to be interesting I think. Rambo tends to lean towards the pool, but I'm not actually sure how this is going to go. They might need this done for um, Boulder. Yeah, they're probably going to be uh, banked pretty heavily on the pool, is yep. what I'm guessing. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, Argo dashed in for Alani, but he has no one to follow up though, and he's getting gangbanged by the team. Brian's saving him. Oob is certainly feeling it for that. And oh. Isaac picks him off. Good shit by Assassin. <laughs> and they go up the middle just in time for shards. I always Ooh. hate it when that happens, where you give out Blaine. 
Yeah. Just in time oh, this birds. could be bad. They all went for thrall and they got a shepherd wave on the sentry now. They forgot to clear it oh, first. Dear. This. It's a good strat to go for the thrall, but you gotta make sure that the um, minions can't push up. But it's fine mm -hmm. though. They didn't get a <laughs> shield broke, but they didn't get damaged, so that's fine. They got quite lucky though, the gods say. Oh, Arendus Maybe pulled. Montana. Oh. The Isaac honor, but <coughs> the ooh the level. Ooh, that was some good follow up from Alani. Mhm. Mm good bubble. And then there's a thrall knockup. They could burn this thrall really quick. Ooh. At least their minion wave is safe. Oh yeah. No go through yeah, also done. It's definitely a possibility. Because of how hard Mike counters. But at the same time I feel like Mike should probably be banned like eighty percent of the time. Over there. At least I assume I don't watch too many Xbox games. To be completely honest. I do when I get a chance to, but it's like it's typically just Dix when he doesn't do tens, so I only see like pubs every once in a while. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, Montana's oh. really feeling it. Yeah, he got knocked yeah. up way high there. No idea Bold. what caused him to go so far. <laughs> Nor do I actually. I'm looking at that team and it's like, what would send him flying like that? Oh, it could be the Randy knockback. Did she pick that? I no, she picked the blind. Yeah, I don't know what happened then. Though. Oh, Shane's feeling it though. He is quite one shot. But he's going to go around the corner. <coughs> Rambo is not using movement speed gear. <laughs> Legitimately surprising. Well, yeah. Engaging Nemo going in. Yeah. Game revealed straight away, Clearing. just one back clearing wave. Shark is down, they're pushing with the troll, they're just falling back, they're not even going to try and contest them. Orendi got pulled nice in. Pull. Yep, good oh, save by Wrath. Yep. That's why Wrath is one of the best characters in the game. Yeah. That is why he is first pick worthy. Oh, okay. So I did not see it wrong, Wrath went with the slow and um, the smash. Oh, the white smash. Wonder if that was a mispick. Or he yeah. just prefers that. <laughs> Be interesting to see the pull, but it does not function properly, much like the rest of Battleborn. <laughs> Pretty much. Play. We would expect nothing less, or nothing more, I suppose. <laughs> I'm curious to see what the Shane takes it for. Oh, nice pull. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, this I is one class of fuck. Fire is... Yep, fire is dead. The lack of fuel from the tanks really hurt right there. Oh, yeah. They need to, like, really hunker down and sort of communicate so they know who to focus at what times when stuff like that happens, because it just seems to be all over the place. Um, mm -hmm. And, like, really... Hopefully that throw goes down <coughs> soon, or else they're going to be in for a bad time. Okay. No. Boulder. He is Boulder and he's being pocketed. Might as well do literally Ooh. anything else. Not with the initiation, not three of them. They're all about to half, they're the coming in with the troll. In. Yeah. This could be bad, if the throw would actually knock up. <laughs> Got mid, but they didn't quite get a pick of that. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's going to be interesting. One of the, um, like you said, it's going to be interesting to see what Shen picks up for. And I find one of the most interesting helixes in the game is probably her level eight at Stealth Strike, because they're all really good, and like all of them really depends on how you play the game and just want to spec for that particular game and like your overall playstyle. So, because it feels like you can't really go wrong with either of them, but it really tells how you want to play the character for that particular game. So I'm not sure what he would actually go for this game. Ooh, I said a Ooh, yeah. Oh, the yeah. All the get bubble as well. Dead. Yep, the rest of the team fell back when he went back in to try and counter push. Chain is feeling it though. Knocked up and slowed, being chased by the entire team that and good. that. That is a bad time. Tonight has He's not been the night of the chains. <laughs> right now we have 12. So yeah. You should probably... I, probably not worth it to come over here. We're pretty full at the moment. This is probably sentry damage. Most likely. I remember the first time I saw Mighty play uh, Frontline. Oh yeah. Um, legitimately surprised. I was like, holy cow. Yeah. He plays a really good older. Oh yeah. I saw correctly! <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> Look at Wrath Celixes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Rip! That's going to hurt him so bad. <laughs> Salt, Kelvin, Thorn, and Galley. Yep. Pretty standard. There as they get, we got a wrath with crimson fastness, so you know this game's gonna be a shit show. <laughs> yep. <coughs> Alright. Since you picked that, I'm just gonna assume that level one was a mispick. <laughs> or he anticipated himself to fuck up. Oh, Ooh, that was hello. weird. Montana is not like in oh. this game. Ooh, getting those clutch saves though from Alani. Yeah, Alani definitely <coughs> putting in work. Oh yeah, that was some good shit being able to take Montana from the heavy focusing by all five of them. Mm -hmm. And now Deandy's got her ult as well on the team, but she should be setting up her teammates now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it was definitely a mispick by the Wrath. Oh yeah. yeah. One of the ones he really wants to knock up by balancing and all that, and then... Like, well, he... The... I do this for Sonus. Oh. oh, they just abandoned the Miko. Yep. Heal myself is a go, but they are oh, they're struggling to finish him off though. And he is out. Mm. That must be quite Rambo disappointing for team two. <laughs> oh, that knock up would have been huge. Sorry about that, Baba Jeets. There we go, is it better now? Was your mic lagging out? Yeah. Yeah. So the pole has definitely been kept. Okay. Four. I haven't been paying much attention. <laughs> Nor have I. Too busy focusing on cheesy throwing. <laughs> oh. Mighty's in. This is quite a scattered push, but it's working out in Team 1's favor, because Team 2 is all over the place. Montana trying to get away from a boulder, but it's just not working out for him. They realized it was too late. Oh, Isaac with the... Um, oh, can't pick him off. That's a good initiation oh, by Isaac and follow up. Oh. oh. That's a good play by Team 1, gotta say. 
3 for 0 mm -hmm. trades. And this is probably centre damage if Isaac can get into his ult here. He just got out of his ult here. Oh, oh, okay. There's the back. Okay. I remember him ulting before that push. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't paying much attention his to it, to be honest. Is on a freakishly short cooldown. Right. Oh, the boulder and the wrath get stunned in the yeah. first century. This is going to hurt him, but Miko is saving Wrath, and Montana pays for it. That feels quite bad. Stunned from the sentry and knocks him up, and still can't get a pick, and Montana ends up paying for it. That is truly a feels bad moment if I ever knew one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he keeps on trying to pull the boulder. No, that's probably the one they want to focus the least. Um, it's gonna like, if they didn't have Wrath, I'm just having like flashbacks to our games again. Ooh, hello. This could be a dead Wrath. Oh, that looked weird. <laughs> was it just on my screen that happened? No, that was with everything. Okay. That's happened to me before. Uh, poles interact strangely with, uh, good one. Huh. Very, How does it, very... does it look weird in, uh, like, first person view as well then? Or like, when you're yes. actually the ref? Okay. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. And Wrath is picked dash. off. That was some sexy shit pulled off by Team 2, and Isaac is quite weak at the back, but Mika is pocketing him. Montana is certainly feeling it, but they don't have anyone to secure the kill. Nemo is just looking for opportunities on top of the wall again. Can't find anyone low though, I suppose, or anyone to set up with. They are going for Arachnus though. Oh, we got Burst Dash on there. But, oh, we oh, Brian, Miko's but that's... Stunned. Yep, but that was too far off, and Nemo is quite weak oh. for that. Stunned Rambo, he but Rambo out. is going Stone to get out. Rambo. Yes. But that means that Team 2, well, Team 1 don't have to worry about the Deandi ult, so that should be quite nice now for if they want to try and push. Montana is pinned in the middle, and they just found him as well. I don't think he'll be able to get out though. Oh, he's got his ultimate, maybe it'll happen, but Alani just got picked off by Rendy, so she can't save him, and there goes Montana. And Ubi's feeling in the perch as well. And he is Ooh, oh so weak. Yeah. Ooh, oh, and he picks him off. Good shit by Assassin. <coughs> this is most Looks likely like sentry damage. Sentry. Yep. They got Thrall and Fatbot incoming, but that is oh so late for this team now. This is going through. Montana coming back now as well. Gets Hawkeye, Ooh. that might be. And he is burst dashed. Good pick by Team 2. Brian getting fucking juggled. Oh, this is Polygon as around well. around like a ragdoll. Yeah. Oh, will they be able to get Miko as well? No, they will not. Not just yet. Oh, or he's okay though. And Nemo is chasing Ooh. him, but he laid off. He is still or looking for him though. He? Yep, he missed the oh, bust dash. But he lived. Yep, but Team 2 is tearing through the sentry while they're focusing on him. Happy He's just running around. Yeah. Doing the Andy thing. Oh, this may be Wrath. Wrath and is gone. 
good collapse by team two. Mm -hmm. They were so well coordinated up until this point and now they just sort of scattered around as things tend to happen when you just have one person running around the sentry. Where people trying to get them mm -hmm. off and then the rest of the team can just go off on the sentry. Is there... Is the DND glitch occurring? Uh, where's the clone? Um... I think I saw it earlier. Uh, I, not sure. I saw two Nemo names and I didn't think the Hollow Twin had a name earlier. Uh, not actually sure. It might be. Oh, do you mean that? D5 is stunned. Yeah. Oh, here comes the Isaacal. I guess I was seeing. They are using quite a lot, but Nemo is just standing. <laughs> Alright, he did not get Isaac there. Um, this is quite a difficult position to try and navigate through as to when you you can actually push and because they only need to worry about the Deandi ult that, ooh, that pull into the geyser, that was quite a good play on their part. <coughs> ooh. That was just about everything. Bass dash, Hawkeye knock up, just, uh, his, that maker was definitely going down. Oh, and Boulder the gets caught stunned. in the ult and he is gone as well. All they have left for frontline is a wrath. Yeah. Will he be able to solo frontline? With the Crimson well, Fastness. <laughs> with the Crimson Fastness, does not get the job done. <laughs> nope. Team 2 is going to need to get sentry damage. Oh yeah. I think they really blew this push. Yeah. They needed somebody up there getting damage. I'm not sure why they didn't push up further, like if Alani went up there and grabbed stacks off the sentry, because they don't really have to worry about um, Wrath without the silence, and they didn't have um, much damage to follow up or frontline to punish. Um, so if you just grabbed stacks off of the sentry and then just kept healing the Montana that laid into the sentry, I think that would have been quite a good move by them, but... <laughs> this may, be, may look like a play. But Team 2 got doubles now, but Montana may be paying for it, and he is gone. Good pick by Team 1. Oh, but Oob's doing the Lord's work over there. Yeah, he is good call. That is center damage for them, and he is out. <coughs> Will they be able to see him Hopefully in time for his pickup? Oh, nope, Alani with the... Help. Yep. And Alani Ooh, with knocked the back. moves. Yeah. They are really oh, trying nope. to pick her off, but he's just Ooh. barely working out for him. They just realized doubles came back now, so they're just falling back for that. This is a pretty good game to watch. Oh yeah. So they go back and forth and it's just not one side of this world, like they're getting picks on both sides as well. What's the score looking? <coughs> team 1 with slight advantage. Alright, team Nemo... But it is anybody's game. Alright, yeah. They just need a more well-coordinated push from team 1, like, I... I'm kind of hoping that Assassin will try and use his ultimate more offensively, like, he's used it quite defensively, like, now, like, if they just run away from him, like, he can't do anything, because it's just going to move really slowly. Ooh! Montana is so low, but can they finish him off though? Oh, they do. Oh. That is a double stun. Oh, the I6 stun on Nemo. That was quite a lovely disruption. He does manage to get out. Yep. But very injured. Mostly He's going to be out for a few. <laughs> That's true. Oh, that knockback did not quite stun him. 
but they are still going with the push. Alan is slowing down Boulder, so you can't quite push up with them. Boulder and Wrath are the only two in lane at the moment with them, but the rest of the team is just coming up. And Arenda is Hawkeye from oh, behind. Hawkeye go out. Yeah, Nemo's that going might in be on him. A dead there Arendi. is a dead Arendi. They are really not good at coordinating the burst damage against her with the, between the Hawkeye and burst dash. Mm -hmm. Ooh, good geyser by Alani. Rah. Fire is suddenly putting in work as Alani this game. Mm -hmm. Isaac's dashing out to avoid the focus from Montana. Team 2 really needs to start focusing the Miko more. Oh yeah, as certainly. As long as Miko's up, the melees are going to be extremely hard to kill, especially with no wound. Certainly, the uh, focus they've had for Arendi is really nice, and if they could readjust that to focus on the Miko instead of the Arendi, that would be... It would be a oh. lot more one-sided, <laughs> to say the least. Oh, Brian... Hit level 9. Yep. Brian is gone, and Ergo is done there, but they did not quite finish him off. Will they be able to finish him? He doesn't have a Miko after all. But, then again, he is boulder, but he gets pulled in just There's again, but he dashes oh, out. I thought that with geyser was gonna get oof. him. Yeah. Really close. Good escape by Mr. Ergo. Oops, just standing on top now, just harassing. Poor guy to Isaac, he has to dash out. Montana's going for a knockup, no one to follow up on it. Nemo's going in. He's going for a burst dash and put on the shepherd though. Oh, Wrath is way too far up. None of his team followed up there. The level 9 shameful. Yeah. You can tell as soon as Rambo hits level 9, that's gonna be a huge momentum shift. Oh yeah. Oh, yep. Orenda get pulled in, she gets knocked up. Will they be able to finish it though? Because they don't have quite the damage to follow up on that. Oh. Almighty going in, stunning Yelani. Oh. No one saw it, so could follow up. But she had an overshield in the middle of the minion wave, so it would be difficult to follow up. <coughs> oh, that pull on Isaac though. Montana wasn't quite quick enough to follow up, nor was the Andy, so it did manage to get out. I think with Rambo at 9, that might solidify yep. Team 2's pick potential. Certainly. Arachnus looking really low. Oh. I'm not sure who got stunned there, if anyone, they, but they Arachnus is still no in. No idea about no? Arachnus' position. Oh, oh but he Arachnus, whips. yeah. So close on picking that Lani and they are still going for him. Can they be able to get a pick here though? That's quite low, all of them. Good shit. Good shit by Assassin, oh. going in for his stun. They're running towards Isaac now as they're trying to retreat. And he gets the pick on Alani. Will they be able to pick off Rambo as well? The knockup Fox, but That's Isaac Rambo picks him dead. off as well. Good shit by Team 1. Is <coughs> honestly... This is probably a game. Yeah, Isaac is level 10 and... Okay. Wait, no, did he? No, okay, never mind, thank you. <laughs> I keep on getting confused because of the uh, small green icon over the taken. mutations. Yeah. He just took the missiles. Okay. That could be quite interesting. On the back door, Oob is being melted and he is gone for sure. Isaac is on the sentry, level 10, got the missiles, no one's harassing him. This is going to be sentry damage, folks. Montana's coming back now though, Isaac is backing up so oh. it doesn't get peeled, Montana's interrupting them all, they are getting stunned, Brian is in there, will they be able to p finish him off? No they will not it seems oh. like, but Montana Almost. will pay for it. That was oh so close, but just not enough. Oh, and Arendi almost landed on fire, and the <laughs> pull <laughs> managed to get stuck on the thing, so... And this is quite a clusterfuck. They're trying to get a pick here as they're going for the sentry, but it's just not working out for him. Cheesy oh, is quite low. Cheesy gets he, pulled in. Yeah, he is gone. Team 2 making a, <laughs> a promptly push here that they badly needed in two and a half minutes to go, and we shall see if they can do seven more sentry damage. 
Hope I miss this Arende just barely. And oh, the fetch the does not get Oof. someone. That could have been quite game changing though if he managed to pull in Mego and Boulder. At the moment it's going to be really <laughs> difficult when one pip one team loses a player. Because it's just going to be such a huge um, time gap now in uh, relation to the time that's left in the match. And Isaac is ulting in defensive purposes. No one's quite in his line of sight though, so he can't do much with it. But um, he's just staying back, trying to get around the corner, just so he can arrest someone. He's playing into Benedict, but he's missing at the moment. Um, Rambo's coming in though, quite oh. weak. Oh, Nemo's coming in from behind. He's looking for opportunities. <coughs> He's just standing over Fire there chilling. Really He's getting weak. out. Yep. Should be. Oh, this Ooh, is huge. Oh, this is huge. That is fan fantastic play by Team 2. That pull with the AoE knockup, that was quite a beautiful play. And it was a render that went down as well. And the bubble. Yeah, and Nemo's looking for opportunities from behind. Here it comes. There he is. And the old oh, guest Brian. The this on is. Yeah, and he is gone. He is gone for is more or less the rest of the game. With. Yeah, will they be able to keep off an entire team now from center damage? And one of them is Montana as well. And the line is just going to be able to <laughs> keep him up now. This. Ooh, oh, like <coughs> Isaac is pulled. He gets burst dash as well, he's used his dash, he can't quite get out, will he be able to survive? I don't think so, nope, Benedict oh, got him from behind. four of them down. Yeah, Boulder's up, he's the only one left, and this is Sentry, folks. Boulder's back there trying to harass Montana, but they're all just going in on Sentry, nothing Boulder can do about it. Arachne's just coming back, but he's not going to be able to get in in time. This was a fucking good game, holy this shit. This is a good game for sure. Holy hell. Good game from both teams. That was quite an enjoyable mm -hmm. game to cast and watch. <coughs> quite close on all stats as well, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Like ni 19 to 17, Very 17 to 19. Forth. This is... I want to call that the game of the evening. That's for sure. I can agree with that. You want to know why? Because we weren't in it. <laughs> we're bad. But we're providing the top-notch casting, though. <laughs> yeah, let's be real. Oh, 